We're Sid and Mackie, and we're professional mountain bikers on a quest to race the best and most challenging mountain bike races around the globe. In today's video, we're heading to Montana to take on one of our biggest challenges to date, the Big Sky Biggie, a 60-mile race with over 9,000 feet of climbing on rugged backcountry single track outside of Big Sky, Montana, not far from Yellowstone National Park. This will be my longest race ever. It might even be my longest ride ever. Just keep in mind that I'm already terrified of this race. <laughs> Scared. Scared. <laughs> I'm terrified. In case you didn't catch that, I'm terrified. It's not just the distance. This is also bear country. And while we're used to black bears in New Mexico, like this cuddly dude outside Mackie's parents' house in Taos, we are not used to grizzlies. Grizzlies are such a way of life in this area that Big Sky Biggie has an entire tab on their website labeled bears. And the race organizers strongly encourage all racers to carry bear spray. But those are just the challenges we anticipated going into this race. Race day brings a few more surprises. So buckle up for a wild ride. Yes, this has gotten a little scary. Okay, so keep it together. And now it's hailing. I'm a little freaked out. Okay, so you guys, we are here in our Airbnb in Big Sky. It's lovely, We've got a great crew. The um, Big Sky crew invited us to stay with them, so that's been awesome. We're just doing a little housekeeping today. We're gonna work on the bikes a bit, working on getting the course maps loaded onto our stages dash, and just keep in mind that I'm already terrified of this race <laughs> for a couple reasons. One, it's gonna be the longest race I've ever done. Slightly less mileage than all of the laps I did at Mesa Verde combined but it's way more climbing. So that's reason number two is there's 9,000 feet of climbing. Reason number three is grizzly bears, but reason number two, Mackie just loaded the course onto Strava and how many feet of climbing does Strava say it is? Strava says 11,430. No. I will die. <laughs> there's no way I am going to die out there alone in the wilderness. Well, we didn't really make any major changes to the bike for this race. If you watched our bike lightning video last week, that is the build. However, I did decide to change to the 60 TPI thread count on the Maxxis Recon race tires. I had the 120 TPI, which is their super lightweight XC casing. I uh, had really good luck with that at Oak Flats and a couple other races, even races that were fairly rocky. However, for an endurance race like this, I just don't wanna take any unnecessary risks. We have both been running the Recon race on our XC bikes for a while now. Really, really liking this tire. It is super fast rolling. It's almost like a semi-slick in the middle, but the side knobs are fairly reasonable, so you still get some bite in the corners. And then the one other change, more of an accessory, is I finally got a timber bell. I've wanted one of these for a while. It's basically a bell that you can turn on and off while you're riding, so you can turn it on for the downhills if you're riding somewhere that's crowded or in this case somewhere that there might be bears. This will be really handy. We'll probably only turn it on if I'm by myself. I don't know if we'll keep them on our bikes all the time, but I could definitely see putting them on when we ride anywhere that's crowded. That's really the only bike updates. It's that time of day where we figure out what we're gonna eat tomorrow. This is gonna be a tricky one because it is gonna be like, Mike said like 4,000 to 5,000 calories. Burned. Burned. Basically 200 an hour is what I'm gonna shoot for. Packing for seven hours, hoping it's gonna be less. I'm gonna go through what I'm planning to eat and we'll see if it adds up. I wouldn't say we've changed our fueling, but now that we're doing these longer races, we've had to varietize. Varietize, now that <laughs> I don't is think a that's word. a word. What is it, <laughs> differentiate, branch out? Because like, 1200 calories of the same bar does not work for me. Here's one new thing we have been doing recently is the Scratch Super Fuel, which is a high calorie mix. I was very skeptical of this, I'll be honest, because I've had bad luck stomach-wise with higher calorie, higher carb drink mixes in the past, or I just hated the taste of them. It's surprisingly not sweet for 400 calories in a bottle. It's like almost a little sour, which I really like. So I will start out with that, which is 400 calories. Okay. Then I will have the blueberry chews are 80 a serving. And there's two servings in the pack? Yes. Okay, 
right, so 160 so of these caffeinated are chews. The new blueberry scratch yeah, chews. Which are delicious and they are caffeinated. So I typically don't do two packs of caffeinated chews. I don't know, maybe it wouldn't kill me, but I'll probably do an orange. So that's 140. Each of these bars is, so this one's 260, and this one's 220. At this point, I kind of have a choice to either stop and fill up the bottle that will have super fuel in it with scratch at the aid station once I finish the super fuel yeah. or put this in my hydration pack. We are generally anti putting things in hydration packs. However, you can get away with it if you clean your hydration pack afterwards. And this is scratch's new clear hydration drink mix. It pretty much tastes like water. It's basically just like salt and electrolytes, but it does have 50 calories a scoop. So how many scoops would I put in two liters? The average is one scoop per 16 ounces. So it'd be four scoops, which would right. be 200 calories. I'm feeling pretty good about that because it's not that much to carry. So if this works, this is going to be very helpful. Wanted to give a huge thank you to Competitive Cyclist for sponsoring this video. Everything that we're talking about today is available on Competitive Cyclist, so there'll be a link to all of that in the description. And as always, you can use code SITINMACKY15 for 15% off. How you feeling? Oh, that good, huh? Scared. Scared? What are you scared about? Um... I think that I'm I'm a bit scared that I'm not prepared for a race of this length and this much climbing. Okay. Because it's like a magnitude of difficulty beyond anything I've done since being injured. That's the primary fear, and then the secondary fear is is grizzly bears. Okay, race morning. Got our bear spray. Got glasses, packs, food in the pockets. We're dressed. We're ready to go. I'm terrified. I had a bear get into my van two nights ago. So, there's that. Uh. Game on! Got it. If you like your life.
Neat reminder. No, no, it's this way, guys. This way. Well, that just moved me in a second. <laughs> Dude, it is insanely, insanely beautiful up here. Whew. Come by ya, then I'm on the inside. It's an eating competition while mountain biking. So I've got my Stages Dash computer giving me eat reminders every 30 minutes and trying to do about 150 calories every time. I think I might be a little behind, so I'm gonna try to make it up. Just had our first decent bit of descending, and that was really encouraging. Oh, I just feel so much better on the descent. I think I forgot that while we have 9,000 feet of climbing, we also get 9,000 feet of descending. So that's sick. And that first hour was just quite slow, but now we've Cover a little more distance. Just feeling a bit more encouraged. Oh, tree down. No signs running over this. Anyway, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm gonna continue to pace myself on the climbs. No herbox for another 
20 miles at least. Well, about a little over two hours in, looking at the map, a little under halfway, which is essentially what I expected. And currently sitting in second, it sounds like the first place guy has a pretty good gap. Um, I think one of the volunteers, course marshals, said three minutes. So, you know, maybe I can close it, maybe I can't, but the focus is eat, drink, stay steady, see if I can reel them in. Mind if I sneak by ya? Thanks very much, keep it up. Awesome, thank you. Oh, awesome, thank you. Thank you, keep it up. So the reason I'm passing people is that I'm beginning to catch the 30 milers who started off the same way, but then skipped a big section in the middle. So that's why I'm seeing them now. All right, made it to Mountain and Meadow. And the descent we got to ride yesterday, it is awesome. I'm hoping I don't have too much traffic, but you never know. If so, I'll probably turn my bell on just to give people a heads up so I don't have to yell as much. You guys mind if I sneak by? I'm racing the 60. Uh, let's go left right up here. Go for it. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yep. Good luck, brother. You too. Awesome, thank you. Keep it up, guys. Mind if I sneak by on the inside? Thanks very much. Well, I washed out in the corner, got stuck in my pedal. So that was a bummer. But besides that, I think I'm having a pretty solid descent. I've just hit about a third of the climbing in two hours, which is right on pace. Um, I have a feeling the rest of the climbing will be slower, um, but you never know. I think it's only on 16 miles, but I think um, climbing is gonna be a better indicator of time than mileage on this. So right now I'm paced for six hours, assuming a slowdown, hoping I can still do the seven that I've been planning. So I'll see. Oh, I don't want to go up this bridge, that looks awful. Let's not film this. Okay, okay. Okay, wow, it is epic. Okay, running trails blind in a race is fun. Don't go faster though, and you're riding like a wimp. Got some people to catch. Probably isn't a grizzly bear around the next corner. Probably. Okay, this is the start of the very long, heinous climb. Well, I guess not because we're going downhill here, but it starts shortly. The yellow mule, I believe it's called. And uh, yeah. I would say people speak of it with awe and terror. So that's what I have to look forward to. I'm guessing it's gonna be an hour or more of climbing. So yeah, got some climbing. Um, I think I'm doing pretty well on the nutrition front. And last check I got was four minutes behind the leader. 
So it's gonna be hard to make up because he's climbing real strong, but we'll see. Hopefully my eating wins races is true. All right, now I've actually started Yellow Mule, which, yeah, is gonna be hard and long, but it's the way it goes. We also split off from the 30s here, so this is the point that people say to really start being cautious about bears because, well, it's only been one person through so far. He's a couple minutes ahead and people don't come out here a whole lot. So I think I'm gonna flip on the bear bell and just drive myself crazy. But better that than getting eaten by a bear. It's super fun, but my legs are getting tired. It's very long. I've already been going for five minutes, like downhill, trying to relax. Relax my hands, look ahead, and pump into that upper body because it's not going to get used for the next couple hours. Yay, victim. Thank you so much, have a good ride. Nice brakes, thank you for that. Reminder to not use my brakes. Sometimes you have to. You don't wanna spit off the edge of the cliff. Officially a little over halfway with the climbing, just halfway with the mileage and 320. So. If I can keep that up, I'll be in good shape just to finish under seven hours. But, <laughs> but, from everything I've heard, the hardest part is yet to come. Whee! I'm gonna channel key and talk to myself and go wee in every corner because there might be a bear. You know how it happens sometimes in a race where all of a sudden you're with people? And then, I don't know, that road climb is all of a sudden by myself. I didn't get my bell turned on at the beginning of this. So, we're just gonna chat. Oh, here, I could turn the bell on here. Annoying, but better that than getting eaten. Well, so far, I've seen zero wildlife which is just how I want it. And just, you know, trying to be steady on this climb. I think I'm maybe a third of the way. So I've got quite a bit to go still. And just trying to Keep it steady. Probably try to get some more calories here in a second. Ooh, that's a switchback. Oh. Yeah, this trail is, well, it's something else. Talk about a good way to blow the legs up. All right, eat reminder, I think that is the four hour mark one. And it looks like probably a little more than halfway up the climb. So I was hoping to clean the whole climb, but I was not successful. It wasn't a long section, but there was some hiking. Oh, this is so epic! Holy crap! Holy wow! It is so beautiful! 
Whew. And I wish I was not completely alone. I don't know what happened to the guy. He's right behind me. I'm like, dude, now is not the time to blow up. Don't leave me alone out here. Nice work. Left Thank down you. the road or grab Awesome. Craig, look alive. It's your time to right show. Oh, I got this. What can I get? <laughs> Do you have a scratch? Or is it... Scratch is right here. Okay, cool. The big Do you have any um, chain lube, like squirt lube by yes, chance? I do. I put it there. Thank you. Four hours in exactly. <clears throat> We're going up the big climb. Whoop whoop. All right, looks like I'm getting close to the top. That was a long climb. I'm pretty excited about the descent. Wow, that is a view. Okay, guess we're going along this road for a bit. Let's get up to speed, take advantage of the tailwind, knock down some miles. We are suffering. <clears throat> but chipping away at it. This is probably another hour of climbing. I don't know. And for almost the five hours now. You've hour and a half. <laughs> don't know. A little reprieve. And then we go up again for a long time. That was bear poop. That was definitely bear poop. I don't think it was that fresh though, so that's good. Good, all right, all right, good work. All right, the descent. Remember, Mackie, you don't know this descent. And while you can make up time on it, you need to be paying attention and looking ahead. So head up, let's rip it. That is the corner. You guys, this has gotten a little scary. It is raining, but it's also pretty serious thunder. So far, not that close, but this sinking feeling that we're riding right into it. Oof. Now it is properly raining, too. I'm a little freaked out. I'm not gonna lie. Mountain weather, you guys. Never a dull moment. Oh, that wind is very cold. Okay, so keep it together. And now it's hailing. It was a matter of time. A little hail so far. Jeez Louise. Quite a descent. And I don't even think it's finished yet. But it definitely is one of those like super extended ones that when you start pedaling afterwards your legs want to cramp. So come on legs. Getting close to the finish. One more significant climb is my understanding. This is epic. He stopped. Check the radar. 
got like a 25 minute window, so <sighs> hoping for the best. <sighs> I'm getting very tired. <sighs> All right, gotta be getting pretty darn close. I think this is probably that final climb that everybody warned me about because, well, it's not very big compared to the previous climb. But it's not saying much since the previous climb was like 3,000 feet. So, just as hard as I can up this, get back to the finish. It was at this point that I saw a flash of pink a few switchbacks above me and realized I had almost caught Carter. So I abruptly stopped talking so I could sneak up on him. I did eventually catch him and we rode the last few miles together, both of us pushing hard to try to drop the other and neither of us succeeding. When we popped out on the final half mile of pavement, it became clear that it was going to come down to a sprint finish. done <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> well done man oh. Oh. Top of the world. I see flagging. Tell me we're almost to the bacon station. Please, please, please. Please, 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 please. Not sure how much more of this I can do. I don't even know what this is trying to help me. Let's go this way. Lord. Okay. Okay, guess we're not that close to the bacon station. <laughs> Alright. I would love bacon. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> this is the fun part, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Thanks. I lost the sprint for the win, but I am absolutely stoked. At one point, the guy who won had a four minute lead on me. That's what somebody had said, like one of the people timing. And I was able to make that up, which I'm absolutely stoked on. And then we sprinted it out at the end and I lost and like, you know, that's all right. It happens, but oh man, I'm, I'm just really, really stoked. So I think I did like 17, 1800 calories, something like that. So I really think that is what allowed me to ride as strong as I did for the second half. Oh. Oh yes! We are going downhill, thank god. Apparently this one's fun. But let's go fast. But not so fast that we crash and then get struck by lightning. It is absolutely pouring out there and I'll admit I'm getting a little worried because Sid is definitely out in that right now. It is raining a lot. It's gotten very muddy. Just want to get off this mountain. My arms are not allowing me to descend properly. My like, hands are numb, it's just tired, but I don't know what I expected. It felt a hell of a lot worse than bike races, so I have absolutely nothing to complain about other than the lightning. 
that's always something to complain about, right? I'm alive! This is an adventure! This is amazing! And totally insane, I'm sure the camera's covered in mud. Ah! It's not a stump or a bear. It's a bear, go away! God, I wish I had bite your eyesight. It kind of looks like a bison. You're an idiot, Sid. It's a log. Oh, come on, Ted. A little bit farther. Didn't come this far to fall the f apart in the last three miles. Oh. wild out there. <laughs> it was like the jungle. <laughs> wow. Man. I had a very good day. I'm very proud of myself. I sort of had a meltdown in the last 45 minutes when I realized I wasn't gonna finish in seven hours and it just wouldn't stop raining and I couldn't see anything. Huge thanks to the Big Sky Biggie crew for inviting us up for this truly epic mountain bike experience. We are both super pleased with how we raced, and we both finished on the podium in our longest race of the year. This gives us a great confidence boost as we head up to British Columbia for another big challenge, the six day single track six stage race. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that adventure. And until next time, don't forget to be more awesome.